Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let's try to understand the consumer and consumer group in Kafka in detail. Okay. So already in my previous video, I started discussion on Kafka from scratch. If you want to know the detailed explanation of Kafka, its architecture, the Kafka producer, how we can integrate Kafka with Python, how we can publish messages, what are the different ways we can publish messages in Kafka. To explore all of this in detail, you can check the link given in the description box. Already I have created a separate playlist where you will get all the videos in order. Okay. Now we have explored how to produce messages and publish them in Kafka topic. Now we have to read the message from Kafka topic. Okay. And for that purpose, as we know that we use consumer. So the simple representation can be shown like this way. Here we are having our client application that can be a Java or Python producer and it is producing the data. So in the first step, what we have to do, we have to do serialization because we are going to send the message across network. So first we need to do serialization and the data will be converting to bytes and we'll be writing in our Kafka topic in the Kafka cluster. Okay. And from the topic, the consumer application will consume the data. So whenever the consumer will extract the data from the topic, obviously it will be in bytes only. So consumer need to know what kind of serialization was applied in the producer side so that the consumer can do the reverse technique to deserialize the data. That is, it can convert the bytes to actual data or actual message and then it can consume in the consumer side. Okay. So that's the simple overall architecture of our Kafka producer and consumer, right? And you need to remember one thing that consumer in Kafka is implemented in pool model. That means consumer is going to request Kafka topic that if some message is there, please provide me. It is not like Kafka broker will push the messages automatically to Kafka consumer. Okay. Kafka consumer has to request for messages. So it is a pool model, not a push model. Okay. That is a very important point, very important interview question as well as with respect to architecture point of view also, you need to keep that concept in mind. Okay, right. And before going to consumer group, I hope you all are aware of this particular fact, which I have already demonstrated in my previous video also. That is whenever a consumer try to read the data from a particular partition, then the data is read in order from low to high offset. Okay, it is not like Suppose we are having some set of messages having the offset value 0 to 3, then any consumer who is consuming from that partition cannot consume the message which is having offset 3 before consuming the message which is having offset 0. Okay. First, the consumer need to consume message with offset 0, then message with offset 1, then message with offset 2, and then it can consume the message with offset 3. That is just you need to remember this point in your mind that whenever consumer application is reading the data from a particular partition, then data is always read in order from low to high offset within a particular partition. Okay. So with this fundamental knowledge, we are good to explore about consumer group. So before going to consumer group, let us try to understand why we need that. Okay. So suppose you have an application that needs to read messages from a Kafka topic. That, that application is basically here I am talking about consumer application obviously and the consumer application after reading the data from Kafka topic what it does it basically runs some validation against the messages and then write the result in another data store that can be elastic search cluster or maybe our database or something like that okay right now in this case your application will create a consumer object using python or java api and then subscribe to that particular topic from where i want to consume the messages and then start receiving the messages and validate them and then write the result as simple as that okay right but suppose the situation eventually looks like this that is multiple producers are there who are continuously producing huge messages in a very high speed in our kafka topic in different partitions and we are having a single consumer and this consumer, what it is doing, it is reading the messages, it is applying all the validation, then it is writing the messages in our destination data store. Okay. So obviously one thing you can understand that if producers are producing the messages in the topic in a very high rate and one single consumer is fulfilling all these kind of responsibilities, then there is a huge possibility that this consumer will not have a same speed as of the incoming messages and then this consumer will become further and further behind with respect to the speed of the producers okay 
so that problem eventually we might face with respect to this architecture simply right so that's what i have written here that one single consumer multiple producers and the producers are producing messages in a very high rate inward topic in this kind of context the architecture might work well for a while whenever you deployed in the initial phase it might work good but what if the rate at which the producers write messages to the topic exceed the rate at which your application can validate the message and write in data store? Then what will happen? If you have a limited consumer, that is one single consumer who is reading the messages and processing the data and all these things it is doing, then your application may fall further and further behind and unable to keep up the rate of the incoming messages. So we need some better architecture, right? Obviously, there is a need to scale up the consumption of messages from the topic okay in producers are producing messages in a high rate then in the destination side we should not be having one single consumer we should be having multiple consumers who are consuming parallelly from the same topic and processing all the messages in a distributed manner with a proper coordination okay obviously one consumer is processing one message then the same message should not be processed by other consumer that level of coordination also should be present within different consumers who are consuming from the same topic right so that kind of architecture we need and there comes our consumer group okay so we'll discuss that so just like multiple producers can write messages in a same topic we need to allow multiple consumer to read the messages from the same topic and splitting the data between them and work in a distributed manner that kind of need we can clearly see in this architecture right and that's where comes consumer group application that is kafka consumers are typically part of a consumer group and when multiple consumers are subscribed to a particular topic and belong to same consumer group then each consumer of the group will receive messages from a different subset of partitions in the topic so what i mean to say using this particular statement is clearly represented in this figure observe the figure carefully suppose the upper box is our kafka topic and this topic has five partitions so to overcome the disadvantage of one single consumer consumption what we are doing here we are creating three consumers within our consumer group all these three consumers are belonging to same group okay that's what i have written here consumer group application and they have distributed the message consumption in between themselves what it is doing consumer one is consuming the messages only from partition zero and partition one it will not consume the message from partition two partition four five etc okay consumer two is consuming the messages from partition two and partition four and consumer three is consuming the message only from partition five right that's how they have distributed their work if suppose one new consumer is coming then kafka will automatically do rebalancing okay that is maybe here the consumer 2 is consuming from two different partitions then if a new consumer comes then maybe partition 4 messages will be consumed by the new consumer and consumer 2 will only consume the messages from partition 2 like that the work will be distributed or suppose another possibility can be suppose consumer 3 goes down due to some reason then we will consume partition 5 message among consumer 1 and consumer 2 someone will start consuming the messages from partition 5 automatically the kafka will do rebalancing in the backend we no need to worry about that and that is the beauty of consumer group application okay here the work is distributed so obviously if multiple producers are publishing messages in a very high speed in the kafka topic obviously now because all the consumers are working together they are consuming different set of messages and processing them parallelly so obviously there is a possibility that consumer side consumption speed and producer side production speed might come in the same level okay that's the advantage of this kind of architecture i hope it is clear to you it will be much more clear when i will show you the thing right so here let's see another diagram which will give us some more better idea okay so suppose we are having a topic which is having four partition and here we are having consumer group only one consumer is there so obviously as only one consumer is there within our consumer group so from all the partitions this consumer will consume the messages okay because there is no other consumer so obviously uh, to maintain the balance what will happen suppose we spin up another consumer okay now the message consumption will be distributed maybe consumer one will consume the message from partition zero and partition two and consumer 2 will consume the message from partition 1 and partition 3 okay we can maybe start another two set of consumer so then what will happen partition 0 will be consumed by consumer 1 partition 1 data will be consumed by consumer 2 partition 2 data will be consumed by consumer 3 and partition 3 data will be consumed by 
consumer phone like that the work is distributed okay suppose we are bringing up another consumer what will happen suppose in the same cluster we have started another consumer and that is consumer 5 okay in this case here you can see with respect to one partition already one consumer is allocated okay so consumer 5 will be ideal it cannot consume from partition 3 again because already one consumer is consuming the messages right so you should keep in mind that obviously to make the work faster you need to scale up in the consumer side by adding more and more consumers in the consumer group but the total number of consumers within the consumer group should not exceed the total number of partitions within the topic if you do that way then obviously one consumer will be sitting ideal it will not consume any message okay that's what i have written here that is keep in mind that there is no point in adding more consumers than you have total number of partitions in a topic because some of the consumers will be just idle in that kind of case okay i hope the consumer group concept is clear to you now i will switch to the demo but before that one more topic i want to discuss that is in kafka it is also possible that multiple consumer group are consuming the data from a particular topic okay so that's what i have written here in apache kafka it is acceptable that we are having multiple consumer group on the same topic okay so the picture is like this so we are having one single topic there is a consumer group who is consuming the messages okay you can see here and there is another consumer group consumer one and consumer two two different consumers are member okay they are also consuming the messages from all the partitions so maybe this is one application this is another application okay? this application need to consume the messages from all the partitions of this particular topic and there is another application who is consuming the messages from all the partitions of this particular topic for a particular purpose so that way for different different application you can create different different consumer group and they can consume the messages okay so multiple consumer group on a topic is perfectly possible right so this is all for my this video i will continue the demo in my next video till then stay tuned thank you for watching